Here we are back with a much smaller bike. Again, it's got the foot brake or drum brake. This one's got a slightly looser chain. But for these bikes, they can be quite tricky getting the um, the wheel off. Um, sometimes you have to remove the the guards to get to the chain. So the screws here. And then, if you once you remove the outside bolt here, which is a 15 mil. You'll sometimes find that inside here is an even is another bolt. Mm -hmm. Another bolt, which is a which is a 17, or sometimes a seven a 17. So you need a different wrench to remove that one, and that one is for the the training wheels. So that one comes off. Once I get to this stage, I usually take that off. Now, and put the 15 on so I don't have to deal with two bolts the next time. We're on the other side here. Again, we'll take that. You can see if it's been sitting outside, this can get quite rusted. Nuts on the axle. See, that's quite rusted. And now again, we got the 17 mil here. Take that one off. Put this one back on. And in here is a quite a common problem that this screw will get rusted and you've got to be very careful here if I went in here and just tried to unscrew this I would round that out and I wouldn't be able to remove it so the secret is to don't try and use the screwdriver screwdriver get your wrench at the back and hold this hold the front steady and use the wrench to loosen this one because it's a 10 mil at the back here. And only when it's loose, whoop, even now it's still tight. I'm in the back here. That's quite tight. See how rusted that's become. Again, I'll keep that on there so I don't lose it. Everything's loose now. So Pull it out. No, it won't happen. See, I can't get it off the back. So you need to get off the chain ring at the front here. Get off the chain ring before you can pull it off the back. And this chain ring has to come on off before we can put it back on. It's a bit hard to reach in there with the chain ring on. All right, so we've got it off now. So let's remove this chain ring. This one, the other is up in here. Sometimes the chain rings go the, cover the whole chain, it makes it very difficult to get in. Now I can get the chain off and remove the wheel easily. Alright, I've got the wheel. I'm ready to put it back on the frame. I've got to get that chain over the back. 
over the back of the cog at the back and keep it off the front chain ring and then slip it into the dropouts. Into the dropouts, there we are. While that's there, put the chain on and you've got to pull that back, alright? So the chain is completely on and we pull this back. Oh, there goes my spanner. <laughs> Keeping this push, see I'm pushing back with this hand. Yep. I don't want to use my right hand here. And get that tight. So that's oh not quite tight enough. So not tight enough. That's about right. Then on the other side, this tight. Checking the chain still tight. And it monster this around. And then here's our brake brace. That can be quite tricky to get that back on. A bit fiddly because you're reaching in behind as well. Eventually we'll get it. There it is. Yep. And hold it in the back. We're repeating the process we did. Chain's tight, it's on, the brake brace is on, and then we'll fit this back on. Put the guard back on. Important to have the guard back on, because you don't want the kids' pants being you know, caught up in the chain, or their toes or fingers. <laughs> so important to put the guard, the chain guard back on. I've seen a couple of times where um, the child's pants got caught in that guard and they, were, they got caught up and had a crash. So put that back on, stop the uh, clothing, shoelaces, toes, fingers, get them caught in the guard, in the in the chain. Now back on. It's um, centered in the, the rear forks um, and we're ready to go. Okay, So pretty difficult kids bikes can be hard to get that rear wheel off because you've got the foot brake or the hub brake um, and chain guards but we've done it. Alright, kids back riding. See ya.